I'm nervous. Okay, you guys, pause on this thought. <sighs> Okay, so what day is it? Tuesday, the 21st. Um, it's the Tuesday after my show. As you guys know, I just competed at Junior Nationals in Chicago. I did not place, I got like fourth call outs, but that's for another video. I am fully decked out in my one up nutrition gear, and that's because I'm waiting to go inside for my very first photo shoot with them. Um, you guys probably saw on my um, Instagram and, and other social media that I just signed with 1UP Nutrition. <sighs> Holy crap, you guys, like, total dream come true for me. I've been using their products for a long time. Love them, love their products, love the results that I've gotten from them. Um, and I had reached out to them a couple times about uh, signing with them, and they kept turning me down, kept turning me down, saying that my falling wasn't big enough, and that I was doing great, but just keep working harder, and then finally it worked out, and. I could not be more thankful and, and happy about it. Um, but that's also for another video. I'm gonna tell you guys all about one up in a separate video. This video is day one of my reverse diet um, out of my show. And I am going to do a whole series on my reverse diet coming out of this show because I get a lot of questions on um, how to reverse diet, why reverse dieting is important. Um, so I thought, what a great opportunity to kind of, I'll just bring you guys along with me as I reverse diet out of this show, and I'm going to give you all the numbers, I'm going to give you my weight, my macros, my cardio, everything. You're going to know everything about my life in this series. I want, I want to be really detailed with you guys and make sure that you um, understand why I'm doing the things that I'm doing as I'm doing them. So I'm just going to break it up into like, I don't know, maybe a video a week. Um, just kind of see how it goes. Uh, um, first off, after my show, I went out for pizza. It was so freaking good, you guys. We didn't get deep dish just because I prefer um, thin crust, and I was really wanting some good thin crust pizza, but it was so bomb. We got um, barbecue chicken and the Chicago Classic, which had pepperonis, mushrooms, bell peppers, and onions, and it was literally heaven and I dipped it in ranch and then we got a s'mores pizza after that oh man it was so so good and I ate until I was totally content overly content until I felt sick a little um it was so good uh so that was the only like really big meal that I had um to kind of treat myself after my show just because I knew I had this photo shoot in mind. Okay, so details. So my peak week macros were like 95 carbs pretty much, give or take some because we added carbs at the end, but 95-ish carbs, 20 fat, and 120 grams of protein. My body does better with low fat and higher carbs. A lot of people would be like, oh my god, that's such low fat, I don't know how you do it, blah, 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 blah. Trust me. My body does much better with low fat and higher carbs, even though that's not very high of carbs, but you'll, you'll get what I'm saying in a sec. So, those were my macros before my show. So on Friday night, went out and had an awesome dinner, pizza, loved it. Saturday, I was back on track because I have this photo shoot today, which is Tuesday, so I had to maintain my leanness um, until today. So that's why my reverse di diet is starting today, after the shoot. Anyways, so Saturday, my coach gave me like 25 grams more carbs, so I, I think I ate like 125 grams on um, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, yesterday, he raised it to 160 just because I woke up like freaking so lean. I was leaner than I was for my show, like I woke up like three pounds lighter than that. <laughs> so annoying. My coach and I were saying like that just goes... Like it's a lesson learned to us because as soon as he raised my carbs higher, my body started responding and getting leaner. So my body does better with higher carbs, low fat. Now you guys can say whatever you want, but that's how I do it and it's fine. So today I'm not even tracking because I've been peaking for this photo shoot. So this morning I had, uh, let's say I had 35 grams of carbs with my first meal. I guess I could do the math really quick. 35 grams with my first meal, uh, 40 grams with my next meal. So. 
I had 75 grams of carbs so far um, today. It's about, what time is it? It's almost 1 p.m. And after this shoot, I'm gonna go out to dinner and celebrate with Ryan. We're gonna get sushi. I'm not tracking today, uh, so I guess my reverse diet starts tomorrow. Um, I'll show you the sushi tonight. But, so, tomorrow I'm gonna check in with my coach. He's gonna take a look at me, give me my new macros. Um, my cardio during my prep was really high. Um, like you guys know, I've, I've had a really, really hard prep this time and I had to work my butt off. Usually, I don't have to do so much cardio to get lean, but for some reason this time I did. So, my cardio was at, was at 60 minutes of HIT um, every single day except my rest day, so six times a week. He lowered that right away to 30 minutes. Um, so, today's my rest day. Um, so tomorrow I will be doing 30 minutes of HIT cardio. Reversing out of your cardio is also really important, um, just like reversing your diet. So let's talk about that a little bit. Why should we even reverse diet? What is reverse dieting? Um, actually, I think he's going to be ready for me. I'm going to have to go in for my photo shoot. I think that was... I'm nervous. Okay, you guys, pause on this thought. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go in for my photo shoot right now. <laughs> if you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys who it's with. The photographer, his name is Jason Ellis. He has the title of King, the King of Covers because he's done like so many magazine covers. I've been like following him for a very long time, always wanting to work with him and as soon as I signed with one up, they were like, oh, we booked you a shoot with Jason Ellis. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? That's a dream. Literally a dream. I've always wanted to shoot with him. So I'm just like on cloud nine right now. And I'm kind of nervous. And I think he's about to come and get me. I, okay, pause. I'll get back to you. Wish me luck. one week since my one-up photo shoot and after my photo shoot the next day I went home to New Mexico to visit friends and family and we got the photos back from the photographer and they weren't exactly what one-up was looking for for that photo shoot and it wasn't my fault or the photographer's fault it just was a miscommunication of what they wanted so they were like we're gonna redo the shoot and I was like pew, pew, that means back on my diet so I had to go immediately back on my diet um, to maintain that leanness. So my reverse diet kind of has been put on hold um, until this Friday. So my photo shoot is in three days. So my reverse diet will start on Friday. Um, so I've just been sitting at 
the same macros. Um, after my shoot, my coach gave me the macros of 140 carbs, 120 protein, and 20 fat. And we've just been staying on those macros through this week until my photo shoot. When I was in New Mexico, I had a severe allergic reaction to something. It might have been in the air, it might have been something that I ate. I have no idea what it was, but my whole body like blew up like a balloon and I looked like the Michelin Man. Like so inflamed and swollen everywhere. And then they told me I had to redo the photo shoot and I was like, oh no, I hope this goes down. Like, oh, it was so awful, you guys. And it's finally going down. Like, it's still not back to normal, but every day I get, like, a little bit back more normal. So that's been a huge stress on my mind through this past week. Um, I looked so good for my photo shoot last week, like, better than I did for my show. And, like, afterward, it was just, like, mayhem. And oh, I just hope that I can come in for my photo shoot on Friday looking as good or good at, <laughs> for my shoot. So I'm a little bit stressed out about that, but um, I wanted to talk about why you should reverse diet after dieting out for so long. Whether you do a show or not, reverse dieting out of like a deep caloric deficit is so important for anybody who has been dieting for a long time. And that's because when when you're dieting and you're cutting calories and adding in cardio, your body adapts to what you to the food that you give it. So that's why you have to continue to drop calories every week to keep losing weight because you drop calories and then your body adapts to it and your metabolism slows down to try to hold on to whatever you give it. For example, if you are eating 150 carbs and then you are losing weight and then all of a sudden your weight plateaus, it's probably because your metabolism has slowed down to accommodate the food that you're giving it. So think of it like your metabolism in your body is in survival mode, it's trying to keep you alive. So if you give it less and less food, it's going to slow down the metabolic rate that you process the food. So in order to hold on to what you give it, because it's like, oh crap, I'm not getting fed very much, I better hold on to all this food so I can survive. That's what your body thinks when you're dieting, so you have to continue to drop calories to keep losing weight, or else your body will adapt. Well, when you're dieted down, and you've been dieting for so long, your metabolism is very slow and very sensitive to food because it's been starving for so long. So you can't just turn around and go back to eat how like you were eating before, because if you just hit it with a bunch of food right away, your body's gonna be like, oh my gosh, all this food, I need to hold on to it because I'm starving. And it's gonna, you're gonna gain a lot of weight really fast. So your, your metabolism and your body is gonna be very sensitive to what you give it right after you um, are done dieting. So that's why you have to slowly, very gradually um, reintroduce calories back in to speed up your me metabolic rate. So. It's just like reversing the dieting process, reverse dieting. So you have to, let's say you ended your diet on 150 carbs. And um, you can't just go into eating 200 carbs the next day because your body's going to hold on to that and you're going to gain unnecessary weight. So you might do, you might add 10 grams of carbs for the week after, so 160 carbs. And then the week after that, you might do 175 grams. And you want to monitor your weight and your physique um, just to make sure that you aren't gaining too fast. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Please comment below if it doesn't make sense so I can explain it in the next episode. Um, I want to keep you guys involved in this because I really want you to understand reverse dieting and why it's important and why I'm doing it. And hopefully help you guys um, if you ever have to reverse diet. Hey guys, I'm pretty sure that I'm allergic to something outside because being out there for like 10 minutes, I started reacting and swelling up again. Gosh, that means I have to lock myself in this house until my photo shoot so I'm not swollen. <laughs> oh, this sucks. I've never had this problem before. It's so strange. Oh. I lost my train of thought.
Okay, you guys, second meal of the day. I made a little breakfast burrito. So I'm gonna eat this and um, keep working on my client emails. Guys, so it's about 11.45 and I am getting ready to go to the gym to train. So I'm gonna make my pre-workout meal and today it's gonna be a little ice cream bowl, protein ice cream bowl with a rice cake on top. So I'm gonna show you how I make it because I make the best protein ice cream bowls ever. I'm super excited about this flavor of protein. It's a coconut ice cream flavor and I haven't tried it yet and I'm so excited to try it. So I'll let you know how it is. My favorite one of um, protein flavor so far is the cinnamon French toast. It's so good. It's so good in pancakes. It makes the best, the best pancakes ever. So you guys, the trick for protein ice cream to make it very thick and creamy is this. It's called xanthan gum. And it's um, it's this powder that like volumizes your food. And you have to be really careful not to use too much because it has like a weird texture if you use too much. But just like a teaspoon of this in my ice cream bowl will like double the size. So. After you add all those ingredients, you're going to add crushed ice and then blend it. I was also thinking about how good this would be if you put like pineapple juice or like chunks of pineapple in here, it would be like a pina colada. Oh my gosh, you guys, see, look at the consistency of this. It's like ice cream. Really thick and creamy. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try it. Oh no. Fail, fail, fail! Oh, you guys, look at that. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. They're not kidding. Its flavor is coconut ice cream. It doesn't just taste like coconut, it tastes like ice cream. How did they do that? <laughs> I'm always so amazed at like these flavors that people come up with and how that they can make it. Usually with my protein bowls, I like to top it with like everything, like I'll put some nuts and more on it, which by the way, I'm obsessed with. This is quickly becoming my favorite over this. But anyways, I'll top it with nuts and more, rice cake, cereal, candy if it fits my macros. But right now, since it's pre-workout meal, um, I'm gonna keep it simple. Just the protein, ice cream, and then one rice cake. You guys, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Usually coconut is not my flavor. Like, it, it's never done it for me, but I'm telling you, this is my newest favorite flavor. Something about this is so good. Like, I hate to say it, but I think it's better than the cinnamon French toast. Did I just say that? Mm. Oh. I wish there was a way for me to like send it to you 
And so you can taste this, like, oh. Mm -hmm. It tastes like ice cream. Even if you don't like coconut, you should try this because I don't really like coconut, but I love this. It tastes like ice cream. So if you guys want to try some 1UP supplements, um, like the ones at the beginning of this video or the coconut ice cream way, you have to try the coconut ice cream way. It's so good. Um, I have a discount code. It's KD20. I'll put it right here. And it will save you up to 40% off. Now the way that it works is if you buy one month supply of anything, it's 20% off. If you buy two months supply, it's 30. And if you buy a three month supply, you get 40% off. So the more you buy, the more you save with my code. So that's how it works. I'll put a link um, down in the description box for you guys to check it out. And um, one thing that I really love about 1UP and their supplements is if you go on their website, which I'll put below, and you click on a, su on a supplement, they have the supplement, what it is, and then underneath they have every single ingredient in the supplement, why it's in the supplement, what it does, and it's very transparent because a lot of um, supplement companies, they just like load their supplements with a bunch of stuff that you don't understand or uh, fillers, like you don't really know what's in it, but with 1UP, they're very transparent with everything that are in their supplements. Um, so that's cool, you guys can check that out. Um, I'm gonna head to the gym. I'll try to get a couple clips for you and I will see you there. Hello you guys! Okay, so we're gonna do a very lightweight leg day. Um, since I have that photo shoot coming up in a couple days, my workouts this week are gonna be very lightweight. We don't wanna um, tear any muscle or cause any more inflammation than I already have. Um, so we just want to move glycogen around at this point. So I'm just going to do a very lightweight leg circuit and then some cardio. Um, this machine is my favorite glute machine in the whole world and this is the only gym that I know of that has it. Oh yeah, Ryan was filming. Um, but it's so awesome. It really targets your glutes like crazy. And you can also sub like a, an exercise ball if you don't have that machine. Uh, you just lay on a bench and... Um, put the ball in between your legs and like do the same motion and it works well like that too. So then I moved on to this machine which is kind of like the inverse of the one that I just showed you. Um, so instead of your legs moving your upper body is moving. So um, a lot of people will arch their back and come up a lot which gets your lower back more but I was trying to focus on my glutes and my hamstrings which is why I'm not coming up all the way. Um, really just focusing on squeezing the glutes, the booty, as much as you can. <laughs> okay, so then I went to um, this little machine. <laughs> that guy was staring at me while I was filming, but I don't care. <laughs> um, this is just a like side glute kick thingy. Um, this is not the gym that I usually go to, so it was kind of fun for me to try these new machines that I don't have at my regular gym. Um, so I just did a couple sets of these. I kept it lightweight, like I said, like 15 reps each side. Um, and then, oh yeah, so my supplement that I have in my shaker right there, it is the One of Nutrition Watermelon Candy BCAAs. And BCAAs are great for um, taking during your workout. I also take them like in between meals if I'm really hungry. Um, so what BCAAs do is they like kind of put like a coat of armor over your lean muscle mass so that when you maybe if you can't eat for a couple hours it prevents your body from going to from going catabolic so you don't use your muscle mass for energy so it protects the lean muscle mass that you have and it's also great for recovery um, I love to take it during my workouts and like I said in between meals if I if I can't eat a meal every two hours I'll sip on some BCAAs just to protect my muscles so I don't burn my precious, precious muscle for energy um, the gym also had this butt blaster, which my gym doesn't have, so I was pretty excited about that. Um, so I just did, I think, 15 reps on each side, and I probably did like three, three sets of each of these.
gym and I have six ounces of grilled chicken, about a cup cooked of spinach, and one tablespoon of sugar, reduced sugar ketchup. I'm about to eat my last meal of the day. So I am making a salad here. And I used a couple of these croutons that I got at the store. Parmesan Caesar. The macros on these are pretty good. Let's see, for two tablespoons worth, it's one gram of fat, four carbs, and one protein. And then I also added in the salad raisins, just because I like how it tastes in salad. And then um, on this plate I have some green beans with onions that I sauteed and my um, makeshift hamburger bun. <laughs> it's just two pieces of bread with ketchup and mustard, spinach, and I am waiting for my burger to be finished. It is a garden burger, black bean chipotle, so a meatless burger, and it has three grams of fat, uh, 16 carbs, and five protein. So I'm anxious to try this out. So this is how it's looking, guys. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed episode one of the Reverse Diet series and my full day of eating. Um, tune in next week. I'll have a little bit more to say about my Reverse Diet since I will be actually on my Reverse Diet. Um, and so I will see you then. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one and comment any questions you have below that you want me to answer in the next vlog.